dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy, an up and coming small time YouTuber who has, you know, over a thousand subscribers and, uh, you know, I've been doing this for almost five years and coming up on 300 videos. What's with these birds, man? What the hell is with these birds? What was this, Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birdemic? So anyway, today I'm gonna be talking about YouTubers, specifically one particular YouTuber who I consider to be my absolute favorite, and I am going to review him probably towards the end of the video, towards the middle of it more or less, because I wanna talk a little bit about how this works, you know? Now guys, as you should know, YouTubers who started their YouTube careers, you know, maybe from five years or so ago to now, they had a lot of different content creators to be inspired by, you know? The ones who started it all back in 2005, the very first channels like, uh, you know, small for example, they had nobody to inspire them. You know, they were the first channels, you know, so it's like they, they just did it out of fun. You know, they wanted to do it because they wanted to. They were curious about how this YouTube thing worked, you know, and they wanted to make funny and stupid videos for their friends. You know, that's pretty much it. And as time went by, few years down the line, we had the YouTubers who started pioneering the thing, you know, like PewDiePie, who was the first gamer, who pretty much made it into a mainstream uh, platform for you to play games and stuff, you know, and uh, PewDiePie himself wasn't really inspired by anyone, you know, and a lot of people are inspired by him, but five years down the line, you know, that like the generation of YouTube is kind of like the very first one, the very first channels who began on the platform just to have fun and didn't really know what they were doing. Then we had the second generation where YouTube is kind of like, uh, like the people started getting into it, you know, the ones who like, they got into it, but also pioneered new things like ASMR, gaming, things like that, you know. The generation where, you, where YouTube was already starting to become a big thing and so people got into it. And the third generation, which is kind of now, you know, which is when we see YouTube as a, a natural profession that you can pursue if you happen to get lucky enough, you know. So it's very common for a kid today to, you know, turn and say, when I grow up, I wanna be a YouTuber, you know, because it's possible. It's a profession, you know, and it's a very nice profession. It's an entertainment uh, business thing where you can uh, make a lot of people um, forget about their problems. You know, I watch YouTube, I consume a lot of content on this platform, you know, and I can be going through the worst day of my life. If I watch a few YouTubers uh, doing some things that I like, I'll forget about my issues, you know, and it, it, it motivates me to create content here on my channel for you guys, hoping that I can help you with your issues too, you know, in the future. So, and the thing with uh, YouTubers is that I watch a lot of different channels. You know, if you guys have the time and patience, even while you're watching this video, you can uh, minimize it, go to my channel and uh, the very main page and go all the way down, you'll see a few channels that I uh, leave highlighted, you know, uh, to, uh, so you guys can see what I watch. And you can also go to my subscriptions tab to see the, the ones that I'm subscribed to. You guys are going to see quite a big variety. You know, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see Smosh and Watch Mojo. You're going to see Markiplier. You're going to see GBA SMR, you know, a lot of different things, you know, and what culture. You know, I consume a lot of different content, you know, related to different things, you know, outside Xbox, you know, stuff that I really enjoy watching. You know, it's a whole mixture of things. And my channel itself is a great big mixture of different content you know inspired by all the different channels that I watch now it's very hard to narrow down who my my absolute favorite youtuber is you know because there are a lot of contenders but that's just it isn't it there are many channels that I don't watch now as I used to watch in the past like for example Smosh who used to be my favorite channel and literally the channel that single-handedly inspired me to create my own you know but obviously today if you know what Smosh is you know that they are just a shadow of what they used to be you know they are completely different from before and I don't mean just because it used to be Anthony and Ian you know two friends making videos but now like not even Ian and shows up too much in the videos and when he does like I think that's Smosh they have jokes that are very outdated you know and their videos just simply aren't funny anymore but I'm still subscribed and sometimes I still watch you know just to give them uh, my support because they are the channel if it wasn't for Smosh I wouldn't even have a YouTube channel so I'm always going to stay subscribed and watching their content even if I don't exactly love it as I used to anymore there's another channel that I like a lot, which for a time was my favorite channel, which is uh, Ryan Higa. He's called Niga Higa on uh, YouTube, you know. He does really, really clever uh, skits, you know, and sketches and makes puns and stuff, you know. Very well made videos, well shot, well edited. Some are very epic, you know. I love his sense of humor, you know, but even he hasn't really been the same lately. You know, there was a time when he was just doing podcasts, something that I hate. I don't have the patience for it. So I actually unsubscribed to him, you know, and at, at, at some point later I resubscribed because I started watching his old videos 
videos and like it or not he really inspired me a lot too you know but just like Smosh he's not exactly relative you know to continue being entertained by Smosh and Niga Higa I have to go back and watch their older videos that I still find funny and relative you know I can't watch their current content because it kind of sucks you know but Ryan is a very creative fellow he does a lot of different things outside of YouTube too so he's okay now there are some channels that still have appeal, like Watch Mojo. They still make some really cool list videos now and again. Uh, I didn't mention Film and Game Theory. Uh, Matt Pat, who recently did a new channel called Food Theory, you know, I love those videos so much. And those videos I will never get bored of. Even if in one of them he does way too much of FNAF, you know, in Game Theory, he's obsessed with FNAF. It's actually really annoying, you know, when he starts milking a franchise way too much. But uh, very, very clever videos, really, really cool. You know, he does a lot of really intelligent theories that are so well done that they might as well be fact. You know, they, they don't even sound like theories sometimes. They sound like they actually could be true, you know? I really like that a lot about him. And the thing is that he's a very smart fellow and his, his channels are still relative, you know? Food theory isn't really as exhilarating as game and film theory, but I still like that a lot. But even so, even so, uh, I, I get very excited for his videos whenever he uploads a new one that is related to something that I like, you know, but even so, there is one who shines above everyone else. There is one channel who I can continue to watch and I will never get bored of his content, you know, even if it's pretty much 90 or 95% focused on one thing, which is gaming. And that channel is Markiplier. <sighs> Hello! Why do I want Dancy Pants to be mad at me? Foxy is a big old bag of dicks. Hello everybody, I know you're expecting the morning video today, but unfortunately I woke up and it broke! It broke! Oh, everybody! Markiplier is without a doubt my absolute most favorite content creator on YouTube because he is the only content creator who has remained relative to me for all these years, you know, and he has experimented with a lot of different things throughout his many years on YouTube, you know, and uh, you guys can probably imagine that he's the one who most inspires me to do my gameplays, you know, my game related content on YouTube, you know, and obviously my gameplays are, you know, like a thousand years uh, from his, you know, his are obviously much better. Then again, he does have more resources, more things to, has more money to invest and more uh, tools, you know, and he's been doing this for a long time, you know, and Markiplier has a very sad life story, you know, he's really gone through a lot. I'm going to leave a link uh, here to his Draw My Life video, which you guys can watch later, you know, I think it's really cool. It's definitely worth your time. And he's a very, very humble and nice and down to earth person, you know, and I can say that even though I've never even met him in person, you know, sometimes you just get an impression from a person based on how they act and how other people talk about them, you know. I have never seen Markiplier get mix, uh, mixed in with any controversies throughout his career, you know, make any uh, controversial or bad rated videos, you know, everything he does is really, really well done and heartfelt, you know. Sometimes he makes really short and dumb videos, but it, it, they get millions and millions of views, which just goes to show you how much his public loves him, you know. You can, like, I am the kind of person who I will watch pretty much anything that Markiplier uploads, you know, that's how it's got to the point, you know. And at the time of me recording this video, he is sitting on 27.2 million subscribers. That is a lot. And PewDiePie has over 100 million. I honestly think, you know, not to sound like a fanboy, but I honestly think think Markiplier deserves way more subscribers than PewDiePie, you know? He's just way more an all-around guy, you know? There's more variety, he plays more. I can understand that PewDiePie uh, uh, is a pioneer. He was the very first of his kind to do what he did on YouTube, but I still think that Markiplier has surpassed him in many more ways than one. I actually think it's unfair that PewDiePie has more subscribers, but you know, some antics. The thing that most impresses me about Markiplier is just how simple and down to earth he is, you know? Like despite his fame and fortune of being such a influential public figure, you know, he's gone to talk shows and all these uh, different events to talk about his YouTube success, you know? And despite all of that and the impact he's had on the internet as a whole, he's such a humble person. He's so modest, you know? And uh, what really, uh, really, really makes me love him a lot more as a content creator is the charity live streams that he does, you know? These, these live streams, like it pretty much as the name suggests, right? There are live streams where that he makes money and sometimes he spends hours streaming, you know, like oh, eight to 10 hours doing stuff, you know, and he takes all the money that is uh, that is uh, raised and gives it to charity, you know, 
And a lot of YouTubers in the United States do this, I can imagine, but he's like the most notable one, you know, because he does it so frequently, you know? He's always raising money and trying to help people, you know? Like Markiplier is literally who I want to be on this platform, you know? Like if I was a YouTuber with a lot of money and influence, I would definitely do exactly what he does, you know? It's kind of like a dream of mine to one day meet him in person and record a video together. That'd be so cool, you know? Imagine me and Markiplier doing a charity live stream together, you know? Both of our channels growing and us uh, raising money to help people, you know? That'd be awesome. And of course, it'd be cool to play some games with him, you know? Markiplier's cool, you know? Uh, his real name is Marcus Fischbach, you know? Markiplier because he wanted... He says it's because he, uh, he started to create a bunch of skits, you know, where he played different characters, so he wanted to multiply himself, you know? And I think that it's a... He was born to be a YouTuber, wasn't he? Because it's such a clever name. Such a, it's like me with Chazzy, you know, the nickname for Igor Chesterfield, you know, it's really cool too. And Markiplier to this day inspires me a lot, you know. Even though my channel isn't entirely focused on gaming, you know, he still inspires me to create content, you know. Sometimes I'll be feeling down and now I'm not really too motivated to create content, but then I'll see that just by seeing that Markiplier upload a new video, it motivates me to get up and record something, you know. So yeah, and I think it's very unlikely, very improbable that Mark will ever find this video. But Mark, if you happen to watch this video at any point in your life, I just want to say thank you, man. You know, I really just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know, I just think that you deserve a lot more subscribers than you have, man. You deserve to have over 100 million at this point, you know. And seriously, dude, thank you. Thank you for inspiring me and so many other people who I'm sure think the same way, whether they create content themselves or not, you know. So I just really hope that, you know, you continue to do this for many more years to come, you know, and you have changed the lives of so many people. You have saved so many people, you know. I know for a fact that a lot of people have gone through bad stuff, you know, depression, things like that, and you have definitely helped them out, you know, and I'm one of them. You know, I just wanted to say that to you. And yeah, man, you know, please keep creating content for you. You are and will forever be the king of the squirrels. <laughs> And I hope to get some tips from you someday, you know, about creating content, you know, on this platform that I love too, just as you do. So I think that's it. No, I think that's it, guys, you know. And really, it's just amazing the influence that this guy has had on YouTube, you know. Just the way that he treats his fans, always trying to connect with them and being nice and being honest too, you know. Like sometimes he records serious vlogs talking about the problems with YouTube or problems in his personal life, you know. He's very open, you know. He really makes his subscribers feel like they're family, you know. Sometimes you look, I look at Markiplier and I almost feel like I have a big brother in him, you know, because the way he talks, you know. So, yeah. It's just really cool. It's really cool. His content always changes. You know, he's always doing different stuff, playing different games, you know, to raise awareness and also have fun with his friends or just play by himself, you know. And he really does like to help people, you know. He does different kinds of videos, you know. So his content, despite being so focused on only one thing, which is gaming, you know, he's just really entertaining, you know. He's really cool and I love all of his videos, you know. Sometimes I go on a marathon, binge watching a whole bunch of I'm actually, sometimes I wait for him to finish playing a certain game so I can actually go back and watch every episode so I don't sit around waiting for new ones to be uploaded you know because he makes me want them like recently I watched him play through Alien Isolation you know the whole thing and I thought it was really cool but I think that's it guys I think that's all I wanted to say about Markiplier you know and uh, maybe the thumbnail already gave it away you know I'm, I, I edited it in a way to make it look a little more discreet but maybe you guys might recognize the outline and already would have known it was him I don't know depends on the photo right <laughs> But I guess that's it, you know? So this is a small YouTuber talking about a big YouTuber that inspired him. And I probably shouldn't have to say this, but go subscribe to Markiplier. If you've never heard of his channel, please go watch it. I promise you, you won't regret it. Even if you're not into gaming, I'm sure Mark can entertain you, okay? And that's it, all right? This is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, my outro is very similar to Markiplier's. <laughs> Coincidence? Probably.